Hello Leo, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And then we also have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Two very interesting cards, and we'll see why you're getting them uh, for your reading for today. But we are going to focus on you first, Leo, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Leo currently view this relationship? All right, Leo. You could be connected. Jesus Christ. You could very well be connecting with an earth sign strongly, but oh my God, look at all of the pentacles that are surrounding you right now. You know, a lot of you right now are really focused on your finances and, and your career and your growth and your expansion. This is like the true epitome of putting yourself first and the things that essentially matter to you first. You know, I just kind of feel like a lot of you are really focusing on you and the life that you want to create for yourself. I also love the fact that you guys believe in yourself. You guys literally believe in yourself. Like you have this goal in mind, you have this vision, and you're working really hard to manifest that vision into fruition uh which is something that i absolutely love um about you guys let's look at your person let's see what's going on over here how does this person hmm. okay you got the nine of cups you got the two of pentacles and then we have the death card tell me more about the two of pentacles Got the six of oh okay. I'm like, what in the world is going on here? This is kind of like an overall energy of like somebody wondering if your feelings for them have changed. Okay. Um, listen, I just kind of feel like you're so focused on you right now that you're really not taking time out to worry about absolutely anyone um, but yourself and your growth, your expansion, the things that you want to manifest for yourself into fruition. Okay. You definitely have tunnel vision right now when it comes down to manifesting, creating the life that you want for yourself. But we do have somebody over here and it could be somebody that you're just simply dating slash talking to or somebody that you're in a relationship with. Um, so take it, you know, as it resonates, but I feel like somebody's trying to figure out, like, okay, like, does Leo want to work this out? Does Leo still want to be with me? Does Leo still have, you know, feelings for me? Like, what the hell's going on? Like, I feel like this person's really trying to figure out, like, where your head's at and, you know, how you feel about them or what you want with them. Like, they're really trying to figure it out. They're really trying to figure it out. You know what's interesting is that I don't even feel like they're having a conversation with you about it. I really don't. I don't even feel like they're having a conversation with you about it. Um, I feel like they're kind of keeping all of this to themselves uh, for now. For now. I feel like they're kind of contemplating whether or not they should even bring this to your attention. Because I feel like this person's really starting to kind of feel like you don't feel the way that you used to about them. And that really does um, bother them. Because their feelings for you haven't changed. But they feel like your feelings for them have changed. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. How does this person feel? You know what's interesting too is that right now you are their main focus slash priority. It's another thing. You are their main focus slash priority right now. Their relationship with you is their main focus slash priority. I can't say the same for you. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I can't really say the same for you, Leo. I feel like your main focus slash priority right now is this vision that you have. You know, this life that you want for yourself and you're very determined to get it. Very determined to get it. How does this person feel? Come on, give me one more card. How does this person feel? There we go. I guess two. Okay. Okay. Before I say anything, I want to look at the tower. Tell me more about the tower. Like I said, you are their main focus slash priority right now, okay? I just kind of feel like you're 
uh, and just going based off of according to them and, and, and how they, they feel, it's just something that I want you to be aware of, especially if this is somebody that you're in a committed relationship with. You know, you're, you're not how you used to be. That keeps coming up here for this person on their end. You're not how you used to be with them. You know, like maybe you were the type that was like really crazy about them and really possessive over them and territorial over them. You're not like that anymore. Like you're drastically changing. Okay. Um, and because you're drastically changing, it's causing them to essentially feel like you don't feel the way that you used to uh, feel about them. And that has a lot to do with the simple fact that you're drastically changing. And as you're drastically changing, your interaction with this person and the way that you are with this person is also drastically changing at the same exact time. Now, with the Four of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles, it's like an overall energy of them kind of feeling like things are drastically changing. You're not how you used to be towards them. They also kind of feel like you're losing interest in them. There's just a lot of things running through this person's mind, and it has a lot to do with the way that you're interacting with them. It does. You're not how you used to be, I guess, according to them. And that's greatly affecting this person to the point where it is kind of causing this person to feel like, This just might be falling apart here before their eyes. And there's like an overall energy of them not really wanting to kind of believe that. Um, but yeah, there's like an overall energy of them kind of feeling like, like this relationship between you and them. It's, it's falling apart before their eyes and they don't really want to accept that or believe that that's the case. One thing that I find to be very like touching, sort of speak, is this energy. They kind of feel like you entered their life for a reason, you know, like they're looking at this entire relationship, you know, with you like you were supposed to, you know, be in their life, you know, and again, you are kind of like dealing with somebody who has a great deal of emotions for you. You are dealing with somebody who views you as basically like a wish come true. And that's something that they want to continue to hold on to. Right, because you are basically their wish come true. You know, this is somebody who sees a future with you. This is somebody who might even see themselves having, you know, a family with you one day, especially with the Ten of Cups to the Six of Cups. Like, it could definitely insinuate that. So, the fact that they feel like you're changing, the fact that they feel like their relationship with you, it's like it's literally falling apart before their eyes. It's a very scary thing for them. It is, and it has a lot to do with their emotions towards you. It has a lot to do with, you know, what they want with you. You know, it's interesting, and don't take this the wrong way. Do not take this the wrong way, but I'm kind of now starting to understand where they're coming from because I said this already. Their main focus slash priority is you and their relationship with you and what they want with you. Your main focus slash priority is you and the life that you want to create for yourself, not with this person, but for yourself. So, all of these plans that you're making, they do not include them. They don't. How does Leo feel? I want to look at this seven of wands. I do. I want to look at the seven of wands because I feel like you're trying to sweep something under the rug because there's other things that you much rather uh, focus on slash prioritize. Okay. I feel like the seven of wands has a lot to do with this person. Tell me more about the seven of wands. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Here they are coming in and basically expressing what's been weighing heavily on their mind okay they kind of feel like you're changing they kind of feel like things are falling apart here between you and them because of the way that you are basically interacting with them you're not let's say for example you you know did make this person your main focus slash priority and you dumped all of your time and energy towards them you're not doing that anymore and that drastic shift within you is raising a red flag within them. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. And I kind of see them expressing that to you. I kind of see them wanting to have a conversation with you about it. And you're just like, not right now. Not right now. I don't have time for this. Like, I got to take the Zoom meeting in two minutes. I got to do this. I got to do that. Like, you're kind of not, I'm going to be honest, you're not really taking that time out to really acknowledge this person and how they feel because you're so consumed dude by like the things that you got to do the life that you want to create for yourself that you're not you're not trying to hear anything that this person has to say right now let's just be honest you're not 
It was like, no, I, I can't do this right now. I got to take a Zoom meeting in two, me in, in two minutes. And, you know, I got to get this work done. I got to get this paperwork done. And then I got to do this. I don't have time for this. Sorry, I don't have time. Like, that's just kind of how you're coming across, Leo, if I'm being honest. What actions? We got the Five of Wands. We got the Ace of Pentacles. And then we also have the... Um, Ace of Cups. So let's look at this person. What actions? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What actions will this person take? I don't even feel like this is you moving forward. I feel like this is them. Oh, Leo. We got the Five of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups. I don't feel like this is you, if I'm being honest. I feel like this is them. Just due to, like, the Seven of Wands energy and what came out, um, it's like you don't really want to hear what this person has to say, you know, because you're kind of coming in with this overall energy of, like, no. Like, I need to get this done. I need to get that done. I don't have time for how you feel right now or what you don't like or what you do. I don't got time for that. Like, let's just be real. That's how you're coming across. Whether you mean to or not, that's how you're coming across. And I feel like this person is getting really frustrated with you. Because here they are trying to fight for what it is that they want with you. Double confirmation. And you're just like, yeah, I get that. But like, just go away, please. Because I got to do this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Like, this person's starting to feel literally neglected at this point. Now we have the Six of Wands. We have the Devil. And then we have the Ten of Wands. You know, as much as this person wants things to be the way that it used to be, they can't help but to feel like things are just getting worse here between you and them. And I feel like it's making them really sad. I do. I feel like it's making them really sad because here they are like trying to find a, like a solution here to the problem that they're currently experiencing with you. And it's like, even if they do like try to come in, which I feel like they're going to do it anyways. Like, even if they do try to come in and like try to tell you like, yo, like I feel like X, Y, and Z, like, come on, like. Come on, you know, and you're just like, no, I don't have time for this. I gotta take a, a Zoom meeting in two minutes. Like, go talk to somebody else about it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying that you're like, you know, telling them that, but it's like, it's just the vibe that you give off. And that vibe that you're giving off to this person is causing them to basically feel like, well, you can care less. You can literally care less, right? Not saying that you don't care, but it's causing them to feel that way. So we're, uh, the point is, is I'm trying to get you to see things from their perspective and why they feel the way that they feel. But I got to be honest. You're coming in with this overall energy of, I hear you. I do. But I not right now. Not right now. I got to do this, this, and this, and this, and this. I don't need you stressing me out. Go somewhere, please. Just go, go over there. Go over there, please. You know? You know what I mean? Let's pull some advice. Any advice for Leo? <clears throat> okay. So let's let's talk, Leo. Just you and me. You and me. Okay. If you keep this up, your relationship with this person is going to be greatly affected. If you keep this up. It's going to be greatly affected. Now, right now, you may not care. Right now, maybe those things are not even crossing your mind because you got to take a Zoom meeting in two minutes and then you got you to gotta, you gotta make this deal real quick and, you know, all of these things, right? It may not matter to you now, but if you keep this up, you're literally at the verge of basically losing this person. And my question to you is, are you okay with that? Because if you're okay with that, then whatever, do you, right? But... You got to think a little bit ahead here. If you keep this up, you're going to be at the verge of losing this person. And if you're okay with that, then fine, you're okay with that. But if not, something has to give here on your behalf in order to get this relationship back on track. Because I can tell that this person, this relationship, it means a great deal to you. But you don't want to wait until you're put in this place right? Where this person's like, you know what? Screw this. You don't care about me. You don't appreciate me or anything that I have to say. You know what? I'm out. Bye. You don't want to wait until that moment happens to then be like, oh shit. Like, yeah, I should have. I should have done this. I should have done that. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. You know, like you don't want to find yourself in that predicament because from the looks of it, the five of cups, 
to the Ten of Swords, ugh, that hurts. That, that's, that, that hurts right there. You know what I mean? Like, you may act like you don't care right now, but when you're put in that position to be forced to accept the fact that this person's not trying to stick around for this anymore, you're going to feel it is what I'm saying. You're going to feel it. So let's just avoid that is basically what I'm saying. And let's try to get this relationship back on track. Let's take some time out to really acknowledge how this person feels and where they're coming from. Instead of just like, yeah, listen, I don't have time for this. Don't stress me out. Go somewhere with that. Go talk to somebody else about it. Like, no, because if I'm being completely real with you, this relationship means as much to you as whatever it is that you're currently doing. You may not be prioritizing this relationship right now, but it still, it still means a great deal to you nonetheless. And... You don't want to be put in that position where you're going to be forced to accept the fact that now, now they don't want to stick around. Now they don't want to put up with this anymore. You don't want to be faced with that because that hurts. That hurts and it kind of looks like you're not going to take it well either. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Um, also too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.